Imagine you work for a retail company and you have a large data set containing daily sales data over several years. To analyze this data effectively, you might want to create a monthly sales report using an Excel pivot table. This can help you gain insights into your company's sales performance over time. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create date hierarchy in Excel pivot table. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Suppose I've got a sales data set. This data set includes some dates and amount of sales on each day. Now I'll use this data set for demonstration purpose. The first task is to add data set to the data model. To do so, first I have to enable the Power Pivot tab. Go to the File tab, select Options from the left panel. In the Excel Options window, click on Add-ins. In the Add-ins section, look for Manage box at the bottom. Click on the drop-down arrow and select Com Add-ins, then tap on the Go button. It will open the Com Add-ins dialog box. Check the box of Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel from the available Add-ins and click OK. Thus, the Power Pivot tab is now visible. At this time, select the entire dataset in the B4 to E12 range. Then, go to the Power Pivot tab. After that, select Add to Data Model in the Tables group. In the Create Table dialog box, we can see that our dataset's range is already selected. And my table has headers is also checked. Now, click OK. Thus, Excel will add the dataset to the data model. The next step is to activate Diagram View. In the Home tab, select Diagram View on the View section. Hence, Excel will activate the Diagram View. Now, I'll illustrate how to select a column and create a hierarchy. Select the column here, then right-click on your mouse. After that, select Create Hierarchy option on the context menu. Excel will create a hierarchy. Rename as you wish. I'm going to call it Date Hierarchy. Now, I need to create the child hierarchy level. The month and date column will be the child levels in this case. Drag them one by one within the parent hierarchy level. The next step is to create a pivot table with the data set. In the Home tab, select Pivot Table. The Create Pivot Table dialog box will appear. Select Existing Worksheet and as the location, I'll select the reference of cell G4. Click OK. Again click OK to close the dialog box. Excel will create a pivot table. The final step is to edit the pivot table fields. I'll show you how to do so. Drag Date Hierarchy to Rows Area. You'll find the Sales column in the More fields. And here it is. Drag it to values area. This will be the output. To see the hierarchy, click the plus icon. And you can see two months under 2020. Again, click on the plus icon to see the dates. Similarly, you can see the date hierarchy of 2021 and 2022. This is the final outcome of this tutorial. While doing hierarchy or any other task related to Power Pivot, remember one thing. The Power Pivot feature is not available in Excel for Mac yet. However, Excel developers are working hard to bring this feature to Mac in the near future. In this tutorial, I have shown all the necessary steps to create date hierarchy in Excel Pivot Table. Follow them carefully to do it yourself. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comments section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com if you like this video consider subscribing and click the bell icon thanks for watching